Hello everybody, my name is Janae Tony and this is my channel where I talk about whatever I want. So, the plan for today is I'm not going to do too many miles, it'll take me like 3-4 hours of walking tops. Um, but I've got to go to the bank, because the money I made yesterday, but the bank's not open for another half hour. But I saw a Tesco in here, so I'm going to go get some milk from Tesco and then go to the bank after. Then I'm going to finish down packing my stuff later on and then I'll be off. So yeah, see you then. Alright, so just been shopping at Tesco, hang on, and I found the double chocolate muffins, the chocolate and lacto-free milk. So I am set for the next few days and I will see you when I get back to the place I'm staying. Actually, no, I've got to go back, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Got to go to the bank first. So, yeah, see you then. All right, so I can't find a bank anywhere and there isn't one until Scarborough. So, don't know what I'm going to do with my money that I made. Um, but I'm eating a chocolate muffin because got nothing better to do. Also, don't worry, I've already had breakfast. I had a couple of bananas, so this is not breakfast, I promise. All right, so I got back. Um, I couldn't find a bank anywhere because there isn't one until Scarborough. Um, I'm just putting my tent down. Uh, on, pole one is here, so yeah. Um, and I'm basically, oh, basically just trying to get stuff sorted for when I'm going today. All right, guys, it's a beautiful day and I am already packed up. I'm just about to get going to Bempton. Let's -a go. All right, so I've just said my final goodbyes and the couple I stayed with were so nice. And yeah, so I'm now off to Bempton via Flamborough. So talk to you along the way. Hey guys, I think I struck gold coming to Bridlington. Gorgeous out here, beautiful sand, only a few pebbles, nothing like chroma, gorgeous. Alright, so I'm being really naughty right now, I've barely even started and I've already bought myself an orange clippo, so looking forward to eating this on the road. <laughs> Alright, so I finished my ice pop, just put that in the bin, and I saw this, and I just thought it was cool. This is North Marine Promenade. But yeah, that's awesome, that is. There's a few of them all around. But I just thought I'd show you one and then move along. All right, so I just asked a local. Apparently the path gets a bit narrow later on, but it does still exist, which is the main thing. So a little bit worried about that, but hopefully I'll be able to walk all the way to Flamborough. Then I've got to go inland and then I can go to Bempton from there. So hopefully I'll make it all right today. Guys, I just walked up a little bit, but now, public footway, yay! And then there's the signs up there, which I think um, Flamborough's just behind, so yeah, looking forward to that. Okay, I've just sat down for a water break. Um, I think I might put some sun cream on because it's very hot, like very hot. It feels like it's 50 degrees. I don't do well in the hot. Cold, I don't mind. Hot, mm, maybe not. But I'm going to get some sun cream on just to protect my skin, so yeah. Okay, so I've walked a fair way. Um, problem is, there's a bunch of beautiful, beautiful commemorative plaques for people. But they look like they're all dead people, so I'm like, probably not the best idea to be recording those. But some of them are so gorgeous. And, you know, the flowers that are just wild planted here just don't live up to it. But, you know, there are fields and benches everywhere. I think this part is like a park, and there's a golf course like over that way. So... Yeah, I'm not really too sure what to do because I'm a bit conflicted because on one hand I really want to show you guys these things but on the other hand I think it'd be a bit disrespectful so I'll show you other beautiful things but not the stuff that's for people who are dead so hope you understand. Alright, so the flowers are mostly wild now 
and I need to find the way back to the park because there are people walking up that way I just need to find out how they got there so yeah Cure, that looks like a beautiful spot for rock pooling that does I remember when I was little my granddad took me once it was amazing guess I won't be rock pooling it's a no take zone so basically oh cool you get sand eels that's awesome yeah no we used to get crabs back in the day in chroma never seen a lobster before well I have but I've never actually eaten it or anything anemones I thought were from um, finding Nemo they are but I didn't know you could also find them in England and they got mussels and wadding birds and periwinkles I think but yeah all across um, Flamborough Bay or Flamborough Head so yeah I mean won't be eating anything wild tonight so oh well also the rest of the way looks like it's just grass so a little harder to walk on than path but still easy enough just being very careful now but just through there you can see a family of deer there see gorgeous they are absolutely gorgeous all right so i've been talking to some of the locals and apparently it's relatively flat but there are a few dikes along the way so basically where it dips down and comes back up but apparently in dane's dike there's a cafe and some toilets which is great so might stop there all right, so I've gotten into a bad habit of stopping and talking to everyone I see along the road and also stopping to take video for YouTube. This is very ineffective and I should probably stop because I am behind schedule and Flamborough is right there. Hang on, there. And I'm not there yet, so yeah. Behind schedule because I talk too much. Cool. Look at those white cliffs, beautiful. It appears that the path has taken me through a forest. I love forests. Let's go. All right, so some very kind locals have shown me that this is currently Dane's Dyke. And if I go straight ahead and up the stairs, I'll come out on the road and apparently there's a footpath on the road, which is it is my life saviour, the footpath. So that'll take me all the way to Bempton, hopefully. So yeah. Hey guys, thou hast reached Hawthorne. Yes, still got a fair ways to go to Bempton though. Hey guys, someone made a stick hut. That's awesome, that is. Here I am in Dane's Dyke, crossing the wooden bridge. And this is just a beautiful little river, beautiful little stream. It's gorgeous. Thought I'd show you all. All right, so I've made it through Dane's Dyke and I'm now on my way to Bempton. Bought myself another orange clippo because I can have these and they're cold and I need that. <laughs> um, might have some water, this, and then get going again. So yeah, see you in a bit. All right, so I have just come from the cafe. Now I'm going down here, this is very steep. And then off to the cliffs, and then apparently there's some green steps and you can't miss them. So I'm just, oh, I might have to pause this and then just talk about it later. Oof. All right, so I found a bench. Um, so. Oh, it smells lovely here. It smells of garlic because there's garlic flowers everywhere. Basically, um, I go down here, uh, follow the road and I'll come out by the cliffs and then there'll be some bright green steps. So yeah, looking forward to that. Da ha 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 ha! Look what I found. I see the sea. All right, so now I should find some steps and that'll take me up to Bempton. 
Hopefully, hopefully. I found the steps. Walking on the steps. Slowly walking up the steps. Yes! Thou hast defeated the steps. This bag's heavy. Honestly, where I'm walking right now, where I'm at, it's beautiful. Let me show you. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous out here. No one for miles. Can't wait to get to Bempton. Okay, so thankfully there are a lot of these around, which tell me where I need to go. And also have these on. So... It tells you a bit about where you are and where you're going. But yeah, look at that view. And look at that view. And then look at this. Down and up. Beautiful. Okay, a couple of things I want to point out. One, that is gorgeous. Loving the rock pooling there. And two, why so many stairs? Yeah. Apparently if I follow the cliff top all the way around, I'll get to um, Bamford by then. So yeah, gonna do that. Okay, so I just put my violin down, but look at this. That's a thumbnail for a video, if I ever saw one. I'm taking a photo. Boobity boop, there we go. Okay, okay. This is very interesting, because if you look around here, I put my violin down, I did. But look around here. There is a doorway. Don't know if you can see that, but there is a doorway. I am not going down there. I don't trust it. But that's awesome. So yeah, thought I'd show you. <sighs> okay, I'm at Flamber Head. <sighs> and I'm exhausted. Put my pack down. Um, might just stop for a drink, because, yeah, exhausted and there's people so I might ask them about how to get to Bempton, so... <sighs> Alright, so Bempton is a couple miles that way. Um, just had my break, talked to some of the locals, and apparently it's not too difficult. But I just want to show you that. It's beautiful. So, yeah, this ain't, but over there is, so, yeah. All right, so everyone, hello. I've just gotten out of the lovely fields and I'm now in the village, well, just coming up to the village of Flamborough and a lovely lady has offered to give me a lift to Bempton, so should be fun. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I just got a lift to the church and I'm going to find the people that I'm staying with today. <laughs> okay, so I've arrived at the person's house. I've set up my tent and I'm just about ready for everything. Um, I haven't eaten lunch though, um, so probably going to do that or, you know, eat some form of food. I saw a pub down the road and they say they do takeaway, so I'll... Have a look at that. If not, I'll go on Just Eat and look for something there. But yeah, I'm just about done for the day now in terms of stuff I need to do. Now it's just stuff I want to do. So yeah. Also, I look very tired. I feel it too. All right. So I just had a lovely chat with the lady who um, owns the house and her husband's also home and we had a lovely little chat. I'm now properly off to go get some food because I haven't eaten most of the day, so yeah. All right, so um, yeah, the pub ain't open yet. Uh, they do do takeaway, thankfully, um, but the pub ain't open. Um, so I thought I would just go see Bempton Cliffs because apparently that's what Bempton's famous for. So let's see if we can find them. 
All right, so I must be going the right way. Sign says Bempton Cliffs. And it says this way. Or that way, I'm not sure. One way. Oh, but here's an interesting thing. Formerly George, uh, Jawbones Corner. Two giant whale bones mark the entrance to this field. That's awesome. All right, so I have found a bench. I'm very happy about that. And it's made me want to sit down and take a break and sleep and rest because I've been doing a lot of everything today, but not a lot of nothing. Um, so I think I'll just sit here for a bit because I didn't bring my water with me. I just got the day bag. But I think I'll just sit here for a bit and then eventually go and um, order something from the pub. It's expensive, that pub, but I'll get something from there. Because it's the only decent food I shall have all day. Yeah, okay, I was burning up in the sun. Um, I think I ought to get back in the shade, to be honest. Because I'm, yeah, like I said, I'm burning up don't think I'll be visiting the cliffs today. Oh well. Love to go paddling in the sea though. Still haven't done, well, I've been paddling but I haven't been swimming in the sea because it was too cold in Skegness last week. So like, yeah. <sighs> Life. All right, so Benton is a beautiful little town. It is, hang on, there we go. That there is a church, and I'm staying just behind there. But the pub is just round here, let me show you. Here is the pub. So I'm going to get some food, because I haven't eaten properly all day. And I'm going to ignore those dogs, so yeah. All right, so annoyingly the um, pubs aren't allowed to serve food until tomorrow which sucks because I haven't eaten all day so I'm going to have to make some camping food. Seriously, everything that can go wrong will go wrong today. I swear by it. Went the wrong way at, um, oh, what's it called? The, uh, everything that can go wrong will go wrong. Oh well. Talk to you when I'm making food. Okay, so I'm around the back here with my tent so let's keep anonymity but I've got my gas can and my cooking stuff and I'm off to go get some food basically so yeah I'm off to make food bye this looks like a very lovely area just getting the ducks in it just looks like a great area to you know put some of my camping gear so let's make some dinner. You girl forgot water. Can't make rice without water. So I'm back at Le Tent and going to be making some food here boringly and hopefully not going to have to wipe down my tent with the steam in the meantime. I know I'm gonna have to, but let's hope. Mm -mm. See you in a bit. It said bring it to the boil and simmer. So bringing it to the boil first and then I'm gonna turn it down and simmer it. So yeah. Okay, I've brought it to the boil. I'm now simmering it. I'm having to use this as a wind guard thingy because otherwise I'm never going to get anywhere with this. So yeah easier when I'm finished or when it's done so I can eat because I'm hungry all right dinner is almost ready and it actually looks really good and it you know from the taste test I did it tastes really good so yeah looking forward to this 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 seems awesome so yeah all right so got dinner here in this pot and here I'm making a cup of tea so yeah all right, so we've got dinner and a cup of tea and a cooking utensil to eat it with because my spork broke. So, 
big sad about that one but this is very nice so gonna finish eating that then go drink that then probably figure out what to do from there because it just got very cloudy all of a sudden so gonna figure out what to do later there we go that that was lovely tea tasted a bit weird but oh well um so yeah it was this and it was given to me by the food bank back in whole beach so if you're ever going through whole beach stop at the church because they're also a food bank but the church people are nice church people gave me food church people are the reason why i can eat tonight so yeah definitely big ups to them love them you know the people in whole beach so yeah I am loving life now, because that was lush. Okay, so I just finished cleaning up. Um, all my rubbish is in here. So I'll dispose of that quite easily. I just realised um, this only gave me like 250 calories, not even that. Which is not really that much when you think about it, because I'm walking several miles a day and carrying this massive lug over me <sighs> gonna need a lot more than 250 calories per meal good thing i bought myself some chocolate isn't it let's get the chocolate out got my chocolate bar yeah these are a mess excuse them um but yeah so today has been rather productive i like to think um Next place I'm going is to Filey. Then after Filey, I'm going straight to Scarborough, hopefully. I don't know, but um, hopefully the people in Filey will know someone in Scarborough. If not, I'll get myself a hotel room. I don't mind. I'm, yeah, no. I'm really actually starting to miss... Well, not miss home, but just miss the cr creature comforts a bit. I don't know. I am starting to miss it, you know. I guess that's part of what this trip was about, is, you know, kind of learning to appreciate what you got. And I guess going without makes you appreciate what you do got. But right now, I got chocolate. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to eat this. See you in a bit. Alright, so it's still a bit bright, um, but I thought I'd do the roundup now so that you know, I can rest, basically, because I'm exhausted after today. Seriously, hours upon hours upon hours of what? Most of it was my own fault, though, because, um, oh, God, this is a mess. I need to brush this out properly. But most of it was my fault because I swear I stopped and talked to every person who came along. And I was just like, why do I do this? <laughs> why? The answer is because I need to promote Systema. Because Systema is awesome. And I am doing this to promote Systema. You know, I'm not collecting money for Systema. Um, but you guys can donate to Systema. First two links in the description. Always every single video. You know. But, um, yeah, I'm travelling to promote Systema. So... I stop and talk a lot. Annoyingly, I know. Um, so let's do the roundup for the night so I can go to bed. Because <laughs> it is, I mean, it's like seven, half seven ish, and I'm tired. Um, so I woke up and packed my stuff, first thing I did. Um, sat and had breakfast and chatted to the people that I was staying with. They were so nice yesterday. Um, I went out to Tesco and I couldn't find a bank so I couldn't put my money in. But um, when I got home, or when I got to the people's home, um, they did a bank transfer for me. So they put all the money I made busking into a bank transfer. So basically, yeah, I gave them the money. They transferred it over to me. Works. Um, yeah. Yeah. Started walking to Bampton, where I am now, um, and I got lost in Dainsdyke. <laughs> I mean, it's a beautiful place, Dainsdyke, right? Gorgeous. So many bluebells everywhere. 
And then you had like pink bluebells, pale pink bluebells, white bluebells. They were gorgeous, they were. So yeah, if you ever get a chance, go to Dane's Dyke. It's beautiful. Okay, so next thing I did. Went the long way round to Flamborough. <laughs> yes, I went the long way. I didn't know I went the long way, but I went the long way. Um, and then as I was going into Flamborough, I got approached by a lovely Scottish lady who gave me a lift. And I hitchhiked, basically, from Flamborough to Bampton. So, as soon as I got here, I set up my tent and, you know, ditched my stuff, basically. <laughs> and then I went for a little walk around the village. I did see some beautiful places. I did. Uh, don't know if I recorded that bit, but yeah. Um, then I attempted to find the cliffs, but as soon as I, seriously, as soon as I sat down on a bench, I was just like, ugh, I'm done now. This is the end of the day. But yeah, so that was that. Oh, wait, hang on. Got to pause it for a moment. Yeah, sorry about that. I just had to change the um, storage location because I was running out of space. Um, so I attempted to find the cliff and then I got to the end of it and I was like, I was so tired. I sat down on the bench and I just kind of went, <sighs> so tired, right? exhausted so yeah um i went to the i came back went to the pub found out that the pub wasn't serving food and i was like no i haven't eaten all day so i came back here cooked some food and then afterwards i'll be honest i did very little i've just been resting this whole time so um yeah, and I'm probably going to get an early night after I call my dad, so... Yeah. So, if you like this video, leave a like. Share this video with your friends. We need to get the word out there. Comment something nice, because I like reading your comments. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next video tomorrow. Bye, YouTube!